Well, keeping grass and plants alive is a major challenge in this heat wave. And new at five, Eric Schultz shows us how one Grandview woman is doing that without adding to her water bill. Not much is growing in this early summer drought of 2012. Everywhere you look, things that should be green have turned brown. But you wouldn't think we were in a drought if you saw the bright orange tomatoes and the green leafy vegetables from this garden. Kelly Beer Titoni and her daughter Heather make sure everything here gets plenty of water. And it's free. They didn't get it from the tap. And you won't find a sprinkler anywhere in this lush backyard. <coughs> Kelly's water comes from here. Four years ago, she got three of these rain barrels. Each one holds 55 gallons. It's been a week and a half since the last rain. But she still has water left from it. She has 50 gallons left in these barrels, and she's using it. Care about conserving water, and I get this water every time it rains. Why not have it available, save it, use it in my yard instead of setting it down the storm drain? Kelly doesn't like to see things go to waste. She's an environmental engineer and knows firsthand how much energy it takes to bring water to your tap. You have to pipe it to the treatment plant where it's treated. People work there, so you have human resources, energy resources to clean it up. And then you have to spend all the energy to, to ship it to our houses. And why am I using perfectly good drinking water on my yard? She's not, and she's convinced two of her neighbors not to either. They bought rain barrels of their own. She thinks more people would do it if water were more expensive. Her water company told us she'd only save about 10 bucks a month if she watered every day with rainwater instead of tap water. But she'll tell you the savings to your wallet and the environment will add up over time. Eric Schultz, 41 Action News. Now, if you're interested in getting a rain barrel, you can contact Bridging the Gap. They hold rain barrel seminars, which are open to area residents.